And then in the final paper here, you're putting it all together. So let's talk about what that represents. That theoretically, what would have been happening is that um, during um, the research process, you'd learn a bit, you'd adjust things a bit. I would make comments to you. You don't have to reply to the comments right away. The point is that I store what my comments are and I look to see in the final paper whether you've made those changes or responded to those changes in some way. So the final project, the final paper, isn't just cutting and pasting and putting everything together, rather it is um, responding to everything. And so there's always one person every semester, just don't let this person be you. I'd like this to be my first semester where it doesn't happen, where they totally screw up the literature review. So I'm not gonna like fail you on the literature review. I'm basically gonna like really tell you what you need to do. And it's not like I'm gonna fail you, but you kind of provisionally being like, this isn't what you need to do. And the expectation is that when you get to the final paper, you will fix it. So one, two, and three, you will have done already in terms of these instructions. So if you're following the pages, you could have have upwards to 11, 12 pages already of your 15 to 20 pages. You'll throw in your references, that's number six, you might add to it or whatnot. But then really number four and number five is really the new stuff that I'm seeing. It's you kind of coming to some conclusions about things, having read the literature, talking about what you would do as research if you had more time, um, what was surprising to you in terms of the findings that have been reached so far? What do you think might be different? Had the, you know, if you're talking about like fiat money in Hawaii, how would it be different than civil war fiat money or, or whatnot? I mean, you got, you've got some different um, ideas of how to think about this, but um, the only new stuff I should be seeing would be either you screwed up something in one through three and you've got to now fix that. But then four and five is where you should be not regurgitating something you've already sent me, but you should be adding new stuff to it. Um, and if you still screw something up on the final paper, um, we have enough time that I can send it back to you and you can fix things. Um, so it's, this course is kind of set up so that you can try things. And if you do it wrong, there's enough chances for us to fix it without you failing the course. I mean, every semester, not in my senior seminar, but I hear of others failing senior seminar. And I think of that more as a failure of the instructor than necessarily the student. And with that said, um, if you fail this, I'm not gonna think that I failed. I will definitely think that you failed because I've given you all the conditions um, to succeed in this course. Well, except the fact that we're in week three of the course and now I'm just explaining this all. But outside of that, it's totally your fault now at this point.